The Gold Wrapping Paper, an inspirational short Christmas story. Once upon a time, there was a man who worked very hard just to keep food on the table for his family. This particular year, a few days before Christmas, he punished his little five-year-old daughter after learning that she had used up all the family's only roll of expensive gold wrapping paper. As money was tight, he became even more upset when on Christmas Eve, he saw that the child had used all of the gold paper to decorate one shoebox she had put under the Christmas tree. He was also concerned about where she had gotten the money to buy what was in the box. Nevertheless, the next morning, the little girl filled with excitement brought the gift box to her father and said, This is for you, Daddy. As he opened the box, the father was embarrassed by his earlier overreaction, now regretting how he had punished her. But when he opened the box, he found it was empty, and again, his anger flared. Don't you know, young lady, he said harshly, when you give someone a present, there's supposed to be something inside the package. The little girl looked up at him with sad tears rolling from her eyes and whispered, Daddy, it's not empty. I blew kisses into it until it was all full. The father was crushed. He fell on his knees and put his arms around his precious little girl. He begged her to forgive him for his unnecessary anger. An accident took the life of the child. Only a short time later, it is told that the father kept this gold box by his bed for all the years of his life. Whenever he was discouraged or faced difficult problems, he would open the box, take out an imaginary kiss, and remember the love of his beautiful child who had put it there. In a very real sense, each of us has been given an invisible golden box filled with unconditional love and kisses from our children, family, and friends. There is no more precious possession anyone could hold. Okay, so what I think of this story, I think that this story is... A little inspirational, and it is a little touching because of the little girl that died only a short time later after Christmas. So, apparently what this story is apparently trying to say is that you should always love your family, and no matter what they do, even if it's bad, your family is still there for you always, and you should always love them. No matter how much you hate them for something, or if you just start hating them in general, you should always be nice to your family, because they're always going to be there for you. And later in life, you'll realize that you hated them for absolutely no reason, and then you should have been better. You should have loved them more, treated them right. What I'm trying to say here is, your family's not always going to be there. Eventually, bad things will happen. They'll either move away, they might die of natural causes. So love your family while you can. And one thing before I end this, Next time you see your father, mother, brother, sister, or any of your family, give them a hug. Just out of your own heart, give them a hug. Merry Christmas, everyone.